It's time for another painting. This is gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a collage. Take it on into the studio. Oh no, there, there's no room. I've gotta move one of these paintings. It's called the Jabberwocky Tree. Now I'm gonna start out with, like I always do on my big canvases with making marks. I have a large piece of thick charcoal, thinner piece of charcoal, a charcoal pencil, blue pencil, graphite thick, art graph. This is a very handy tool to have. A big white canvas can be very intimidating. And you think, oh, I don't wanna make a mistake, but make mistakes. I have sprayed the canvas with fix -a -tip. Some of this still might smear, but I don't care. I mixed a favorite gray, Cisco gray, an orange, a green, a red, and a white. After I put the light gray background, needed more marks and more darks. So I came back and just mixed black with some cobalt blue, just all over. The gray looked a little cold, so I wanted to liven it up a little bit with some blue. I got the blue on the canvas, but now I feel that my marks have been covered up too much. So guess what? I'm gonna go back in, make more marks. I wanna put some more white or I'm mixed uh, some of the Cisco Gray, by the way. The Cisco Gray is named after Nicholas Welton's cat. The fun part is beginning to happen. I'm going to do a lot of collaging. First, I'm gonna put soft gel gloss. Tissue paper. It's dry now. I'm, I want to paint it to uh, an earthy color. And I have no idea what this painting is going to be. It could be a landscape, it, it could be a graffiti, it could be anything. I cut out a piece of canvas and up from an old canvas roll I had and painted it and stomped on it and made it very distressed. I mixed up uh, two different kinds of oranges from two different companies. And I painted this wildly scratched paper. And I'm thinking that I like it about like this, covering two of the forms. I'm going to spray paint this tissue paper. Ta-da! I shall put on my trusty mask. Now, I want to put a line of this tissue paper, which you saw me paint. I think I finished this. I put the beginnings of a collage here. Now I'm going to add one more element. And then something here, maybe in a bright fluorescent tape type thing. Just when I thought I had finished this painting, uh-oh, it's not. I took the picture and I thought, Oh no, it looks like an angel. Did I want any recognizable form in my totally abstract collage? No. As you can see, I've changed the form quite a bit. I put a little tissue paper over this form. I painted a magenta over this tape here. I think that the painting is finished. This is one of the most satisfying parts and it is signing the painting. I have used every other material and medium, so <laughs> por que no? I thank you for being with me through this process, and I hope that it's given you some ideas, sparked your creativity to have fun painting. See you later.